Hey guys, Nora Wilson. I am here to explain about the Myers-Briggs mind map that we're going to work on um, today, Friday, and then Monday, which is going to count as your six weeks grade. So in order to do today's assignment, you definitely need to have completed Monday's assignment. Let me put that in bold, where you went in and actually took this personality quiz. Um, I think it was like 60 something questions. I don't really remember. But anyway, um, so what you're going to do with those results that you should have copied and pasted onto a document and turned in for Monday is you're going to create a mind map, a document that represents you according to the results that you received. Now, some of you said those results were spot on to your personality. Some of you said, eh, some of them kind of were, some of them kind of weren't. Um, if you didn't understand the questions and you answered them, then probably your results were skewed or didn't necessarily reflect you. So hopefully you went in and did what I told you and looked up words that you didn't understand before you answered those questions. So what we're going to do is this. This says, put your name in the middle of a document. I don't care what type of document you design, as long as it includes the requirements below and is creative. All right. So However you want to create this is completely up to you as long as Roman numerals one through four are represented and it's creative. So this is due Monday before midnight and it's going to be your six weeks test grade. Let me put that in bold. So for the first letter in your description, like I was an ISTJ. So the first letter in my description was an I. All right. So it says you need the actual word the letter stands for. Include two sentence summary of what the meaning of the word is. Do not Google that and copy and paste it. I want that out of your mind. Make sure you start with a capital and end with a period, have a subject and a verb. Include a specific example of how this is applied in your daily life and an illustration of the word. So down here, um, I gave you an example of my first letter and it says, you do you. You don't have to ask me, Senora, can I do this? Can I don't care how you do it. As long as it's creative. Some of you are better at this than others. I'm not good at all. So this is just kind of a, oh, okay, it needs to be something like this. So here's the first letter. I think I'm going to put I equals introvert because I was an ISTJ. So here's the word typed out. I said an introvert is someone who prefers to recharge alone. An introvert usually has a small group of intimate friends. They don't, they're not friends with everybody in the world, but they have a few really close friends. So those are my two sentences describing. This is how it works in my life. I said, this perfectly describes me because if given the choice, I would much prefer, misspelled, to stay at home and watch a movie with one or two friends than go to a party. All right, so then I included a picture of an introvert. I also have my name in the middle. So probably, I don't know how I would do this because I'm not good with this. It would be great if I could have one over here and then another letter over here and then another letter down here. I'm not good at that. Y'all are way better. So figure it out. I don't care how you do it, but you've got to have your name. You've got to have your letters or two sentences, how it represents you and a picture. All right. So make this good. Obviously, mine is not creative. It's not colorful because mine's just a quick example. Yours should be creative. It should be colorful. It should represent you and it should have the required elements. If you have a question, holler at me. Um, you don't have to get all this done in one day. Some of you guys are overachievers, so you may. But anyway, talk to you later. Adios.